Tyrese Gibson just landed his first ever number one album on the Billboard 200 with Black Rose. It's Tyrese's most raw album yet, recorded in the wake of a nasty custody battle and a breakup. Tyrese told me he dropped out of Empire season one to focus on his daughter, but he's back for season two. Take a look. Lee Daniels has said, and you said, whatever, you're here we go. Gonna be in the next season of Empire. I'm on it. I was supposed to be in season one, so I apologize to Taraji. I apologize to Lee Daniels and Danny Strong. I was in the middle of a nasty custody battle fighting over my angel. I landed 50-50 joining legal custody. Shout out to all the dads out there determined to spend more time with their angels. And um, I couldn't do it. There's no way I'm gonna get custody and say, baby, daddy will be back. I gotta go, go for six weeks. Right, of course. I'm not doing it. So no, I you stayed. made the right decision, no doubt. I had to cancel like eight movies, a TV show. And, but I'm happy we coming back. You know, they could have said, oh, you're gonna not show up for season one. We hot now. But they brought me back. Shout out to Lee Daniels. Well, and let's be honest, and pay and dues whatever, you're hot. And you have been hot for a while, and here yeah, we go. but there's a lot of hot people that's doing Empire right now. There are, but let's move on. Ain't to nobody hot with in these Black Rose streets. Black Rose, here it is. Come it's on, the baby. New album, I'm drinking water it. trying to cool off right now. Because we hot <laughs> in these R&B streets right take now. These, this My God. Just... You're the only one I love, but I, doing I swear I tried, I tried, no lie. Three and a half years in the making. Nasty custody battle for my baby, which emotionally wiped me out. It was, it was me just kind of dealing with losing my girl of five years who lived with me. I revealed on the song Dumb Sh featuring Snoop mm -hmm. that I be doing dumb sh, you know? Like, I cheated on my girl, which I'm not proud of. Um, but when you see these leg muscles walking by sometime <laughs> and this cleavage and just all of this energy, you're trying your best to contain yourself. Dumb, 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 dumb. And the strongest men in the world have cracked. And you don't feel good about it. You live in the moment, you get it over with, and then you get out of there. And you just like, damn, oh, slipped up again. And so the song Shame ain't for perfect people. It ain't for people that are so far up the spiritual ladder, they acting like, you know, they, they're, they're perfect. And I think, you know, uh, so just in general, I did, a, I did some things that I'm ashamed. It was arguments, it was, it was just me just trying to be, um, you know, a lot of things that I'm ashamed of. So I love my girl. And when I do interviews, man, I hope she see it and she's, she's gonna decide to come back home. I'm so I don't like being alone. I don't like being single. I don't like it. So I mean, ideally for you, everything's put back together with her? No, I mean, we're communicating again. She went like 10 months without even responding. But we're communicating and I just hope I hope that one of these interviews I do, she see it and decide to come back home. I don't like it. I, I still got her pillows on my bed. She has this perfume that she used to wear, and I just, I hope she, I hope she comes back.